Hello, let's talk about uh, the computer laboratory. This is one of the parts of the computer fundamentals which we have to discuss today. So, let's know what's the computer laboratory. A computer laboratory, or simply a computer lab, specifically, you can say that it is a special room set aside and uh, prepared specifically for safe installation and use of a computer. So, a computer lab is just a, a safe place that is kept safely for the use of computer. That means that the, in a computer lab there is a collection of computers where it can, be, it can be a public place or maybe in a school where the computers are displayed there and people go there and they search and they use the computers. So in schools, a computer laboratory provides a safe, conducive environment for teaching and learning. As in schools nowadays, there is high development in teaching, especially this teaching wise, example using the projectors and the surfing the internet to get various information. So in schools, these computer labs provide a safe, conducive environment for teaching and learning. This, man, this means that in the computer lab, the computers are displayed and they are, can be handled in a safe way. And the surfing and the working through the internet gets to be easier. As the example, in the computer lab, there can be an easy connection of Wi-Fi. So the following are factors to consider when preparing a computer laboratory. So how can you identify and how can you consider that this is a computer laboratory? So the following factors have to be considered. The first one is that the security of a computer hardware and software. Uh, in these computer labs, for example, you might see that in various computer hardware, there is a special place where they store those the hardware which are not used. Uh, we will know about what is hardware and software in the other in the other videos, but uh, just for intro that the hardware are the physical parts of the computer and the software are the, are the programs that uh, are used in the computer. So security of computer hardware, you might find where you might find that uh, there is a storage of this computer hardware and uh, there is a specific uh, maybe a security locking of the various uh, those computer hardware. So the other one is that uh, the ability of the source of power. There is uh, a good supply of uh, source of power in the computer laboratory. Is uh, there is uh, enough uh, extensions that uh, all and the plugs that uh, enable the source of, of power to be conducively distributed to all the computers. Uh, is in order that to avoid any disruptions or the disruptions that can be caused by deficiency or lack of power. Now the other one is the number of computers to be set up. So in the computer lab we might find that there is a certain number of computers that are set up. Uh, maybe in a certain arrangement where by example we can be in a certain same role or column where people or the students can go and search and all use the computer so there's a number of computers that are set and the other one is that a maximum number of user, of users so it's a computer app so this means that uh, there can be a maximum number of users a uh, maximum number of people who uh, can access it through that uh, computer button let's talk about uh, the safety precautions and the practices uh, these safety and precautions and practices are mainly for the laboratory. The first one is proofing the room. As we've seen that it's a computer laboratory, that means that there is a large number of uh, the electronic devices. So the room should be proofed, including fitting grease on the door, windows, and the roof. So the grease, the grease are, have to be fitted on the doors and windows and the roof to enable more safety for the electronic devices from any disruptions. The second one is that installing fire pre prevention and the control equipment. So we might find that in the computer laboratory there is various fire installation and control equipment such as the smoke detectors that can be installed in the, in the computer lab 
that means that if there's any sign of uh, burning of any electronic device, specifically maybe a computer hardware device, it might be noticed very fast. And there's a supply of uh, uh, amount of uh, fire extinguishers that uh, enable the extinguishing of fire in case of any fire hazard. The third one is that the room should be well laid out. This means that the room with enough space for movement. So in a computer lab, there has to be a large room where there is space, enough space for every computer and its uh, accessories, example CPU and other ones, and uh, the spacing between the computers and the, the users should be well known or well installed so that uh, there shouldn't be any dis disturbing or disruptions that it can lead to accidents. So the other one is that it provides stable power supply. So the stable power supply has to be ensured in these computer labs. As computers are delicate devices that require a stable source of power. So there is a need of use of UPS as it controls and enables the stability of the power if there is any case of shortage or if there is any case of maybe shock or anything electrical problem there has to be stability. So providing stable power supply enables safety for the computer lab. So this is all for this video. Thank you for listening. Hope we find to see the other videos coming next year about the computer fundamentals.